Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to another video. It's been a while. Uh, most of you know that I've been having a back issue. I tried to update you on the community tab, but I was ready today. It's Sunday. Um, I think it's the 18th of October. <laughs> kind of lost track of the days a little. Yeah, it's, it's October 18th and it's Sunday and I thought why not come on and do a little face to face and just talk to you. Uh, there won't be any ads in this video so get your coffee or your snack or whatever and just relax and uh, that's something that I'm working on anyway but on this video for sure no ads in, in, in the video. So, um, so I had a back, not injury, I shouldn't call it an injury, it was a flare up of an old back condition two weeks ago. And I was just starting to get better about a week into that. Uh, my mom got uh, ill in Vermont, so she's okay. Things are stable right now, but it's demanding quite a bit of me to talk with doctors and things like that. So it has been tricky to keep my stress level down and, you know, keep steady, keep on an even keel. So I'm just going to throw that out there right away <laughs> um, to say nothing about trying to um, just recover, continue to recover that thing with my back and uh, do what I like to do, which is splash around with ink, write letters and journal. So, um, but I wanted to talk to you about what happened whenever I spent those days, the first three days that I spent um, with very little, with very poor mobility and a lot of pain, uh, I wasn't interested in too much. But it gave me a unique opportunity to see what I was, uh, you know, on the couch asking for, for, for instance. I don't know if I can make any sense out of this, but I'll tell you that the thing that I kept beside me was my commonplace book because it was small. Because I didn't even want to lift my bullet journal. I couldn't, really. And I still had the desire to write things down. I think that those of us that are writers that like to journal and write, we need pen and paper in some form. And so anyway, my husband hung a little bag, an open-faced kind of bag off of the walker beside me. And I had this in it along with my, um, my water was in a water holder <laughs> and uh, my ibuprofen was there and my little book and my little book that, uh, where I write down what I eat. Cause I had to write down when I took my, uh, ibuprofen or whatever so anyway this was the first thing back to use as soon as I could move it all or you know use it and it is um, almost full and it is really exciting because this is a resource now I've got notes from different videos that I watched uh, from other people like SBRE Brown and um, uh, other people I was trying to think <laughs> my mind is not as clear as it should be and there's just no reason for that anyway it doesn't matter who does it I mean we a lot of us watch the same people and I like to keep nice notes on some of the subjects that I'm um, you know working on but for this it was more like I wanted to jot down things that that came to mind and uh, the, one of the first things that came to mind was wow, I do a lot normally, you know, and then here comes this back injury and I could do almost nothing. You know, I mean, it was a big deal the second or third day when going to the bathroom uh, and getting up and sitting to eat something wasn't so painful, you know, as, as things settled down. So, um, you know, little by little, <laughs> I was able to expand my world a little bit. So like the second thing that kicked in for me that I really wanted to do once I could sit up and do something for a little while was uh, write letters. And it, it, that surprised me. I thought, well, you know, at first, my first thought was, well, my pen pal letters, they'll just have to wait and, you know, but I w wanted to do that. I wanted to do it. And as I set up a little area beside my sink to splash ink, because that's, that's like the third thing, or that's the other thing I wanted to do was make my ink splats. Heaven forbid I have to go through a day without that. You know, this is my fun doing things like this, you know, splattering ink and especially when it's samples I haven't tried. So it was all very interesting and it's not very linear. It, the thoughts and the realizations kind of came in and I was never on anything more strong than ibuprofen. So I'm not saying I, you know, it wasn't like drug induced uh, from any kind of narcotic or anything like that. So I don't know why I keep saying that. because uh, There's nothing more going on than caffeine and ibuprofen here. So, um, 
So as I got to feel better, you know, I, I would, I was, it was a big accomplishment to write one letter, you know, and get it ready, put it up there, and Manuel was the only one leaving the house, so, um, and then, uh, I guess it was a week and three days, and then I was able to do the Guardian report and get that out the door. I had to go to a notary and then go to the post office. <laughs> I didn't drive because putting your right foot from the brake or the, the gas to the brake can be painful when you have a back flare up. <laughs> okay, and then, um, then this past week, this week two, I did get out to vote in early voting, but all mixed into all of this was a kind of a realization that I want to change some things. I want to change some things on my channel and I want to change some things um, in the way I interact with social media, but I don't want to be all black and white about it. I, I don't want to be drastic all or nothing. Um, I might as well throw this in here now that I watched the Netflix um, documentary called The Social Dilemma and, and and I'm still knocking ideas from that around in my mind and I've been putting my phone at times over on my grandmother's desk which is in our dining room where I don't go over there as much right now you know and so I can really become conscious and, and mindful when I'm going to fetch my phone so to speak um, and it's it's been pretty eye-opening to me because I do a lot of Instagram scrolling and I also do a lot of struggling with myself over overspending on ink and things like that where I already have enough you know and I think we all have that to some degree where we we're trying for that good balance where we're not depriving ourselves and we're not um, hoarding and collecting to the max and so on and you know it's hard too because uh, the more I buy the less I can afford to be sending out and sharing with other people uh, samples. I don't have a local pen club. So a lot of thoughts like that have been, you know, rolling around in my head. And then at the same time, other uh, YouTubers were speaking of it in the stationary world, you know, speaking about how are, are we doing what we're doing so that we can make a post or a video or are we, you know, where where's the joy? Um, where's our why and so I've been thinking about my why you know and it, it is easier right now after having that back injury to think about this because I know that that I, I was just super happy to have these letters like I'm gonna just make sure that nobody's address shows but this is my thick um, you know reply pile um, and I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and then actually two for one person to reply to that but that was rapid fire the person sent a little parcel and a letter at about the same time so i've two and i realized oh oh his name was already on the list so anyway i've got about nine people to write to and i have steadily put a letter up um, at the front door every day to be mailed out so you know uh, including my mom you know because she likes to get letters too and especially right now so um you know, I was I was a little bit surprised that because uh, going into this uh, time frame right here, I actually thought, well, I just have too many pen pals, but I actually like the one on one sharing and connecting that way. I, I like that. It's not as overwhelming as some of the other ways that we can connect. Um, but I actually like everything. I like Instagram, too. Um, but I get influence there and I influence there. I, there's no doubt about that when it comes to ink. I mean, I'm guilty of showing these sparkly inks and I know people actually see that and then want to try the ink and, and I, I don't, um, I don't mean to do that, but it's just how it works, I think. So, um, and then I got to thinking about everything from um, how I've been upset about uh, ads in the middle of the videos, but I know from experience that the revenue is going to be a lot lower without them, and that's okay. I, I don't necessarily enjoy watching one video where there's four ads either, but I do go ahead and press that skip, and I manage it, and I do it when I'm watching other people's, but I, I don't, I didn't start this as a job, you know, I'm just a youtuber for fun really that's what it is and i feel like uh, i can make some changes without like uh, you know going the the drastic route of like stopping or um you know just giving it all up or demonetizing completely even because there's a few of my videos where i feel like yeah that's like a service and um 
probably worth having <laughs> ads in the middle of it and people like them a lot and I can tell which ones are uh, popular and maybe they are a little more commercial but that's okay because that'll give me a little um, uh, you know change to add up and then uh, have more things to review eventually but certainly that's not a problem right now I've got inks and pens and things it's overwhelming <laughs> you know at this stage how much I have and it's not all purchased it's it's been gifted to me which is very nice and I thank people all the time for giving me things I just like right now I think I'm like pretty pretty full <laughs> I could never review everything I have right now at the rate that I'm going anyway so um I had one thing I just wanted to say I at the same time my daily journal and my um commonplace journal are running out so I picked one from my stash that my pen friend uh, Sharon sent that's this is going to be the new little pocket hardcover one for my commonplace and I can't wait to move into it it's a cheerful color um it says Paris and it's got all the sketch on it it's real pretty and I like the green and also um, the grid it's grid can you see that and the one I'm in now is is line and it's a, the dingbats and I've loved it I really have and I almost repurchased and I thought no I've got this one here the paper is just about that same quality it feels really good and I've got plenty of pen selection so I've got that one chosen so any day now this will fill up and I've got the replacement and then the other one um, I was actually watching Devin Lou's channel and she talked about this A5 journal bullet dotted journal I'm gonna have to link it it's, it's from Amazon and I haven't even opened it yet but I know it's got the uh, the dotted and it's got a pocket in the back and a pen loop and all that so I'm real excited because the one pen friend Marilyn sent me I just have a few pages left I've already put in my um, well I do like I like to use stickers I like to use stencils and I do just a little bit of collaging really not collaging just ripping or uh, cutting something out that I like or people send me a card and I'll like like the uh, little flower on it then then I'll save those cards and I'll use bits from that to just tape into my journal it just makes it colorful and I'm not really an artist I don't draw much so I love to do that so that's something that I know I love because that's back on board again too and I'm in my bullet journal too I probably only missed a couple of days with my bullet journal because the way my brain works I do need to record what's coming up and I kind of like to document what's been so it's those three journals it's my a5 bullet journal with a dot grid the Loistrum and then it's the commonplace uh, just any hardcover pocket size I love those and then it's the uh, I, I like the a5 size for just daily journaling and I stencil the number of the day and I color it in either with what, whatever I have a Tombow or actually I've been keeping my colored pencils <laughs> near me where I work um, and on my art cart so I can push it around so and then um, those are the three right now that I'm using but when it comes to fountain pens and inks because I even questioned that I thought okay like you're doing a whole life uh, you know review here uh, why uh, what's the why for fountain pens and fountain pen inks well it's all about writing letters it is because I don't exclusively use fountain pens for everything else in my life don't be shocked please don't unfriend me or unsubscribe or whatever <laughs> for that reason I actually like a variety of different kinds of pens I think I've mentioned this before I'm sure I have um, the pen that I attach to my commonplace notebook is a Mach 3 morning glory liquid ink you know it's a cool little pen just no fuss it's there but it this book takes any fountain pen ink I mean I haven't had any bleed through yet I'm sure there's a few of noodlers that would and a few others but I can pick up and I'm trying to look yeah I like here oh here's some notes from Alaskan prepper and I I used uh, I didn't write down what I used but that's beautiful shading I know that's a fountain pen in a beautiful deep red it almost looks like um I'm not really sure what it is because that was a long time ago um, I had to write my own page numbers in here uh, but anyway I, I know that this paper is friendly enough to take the fountain pen ink but a lot of times the main thing is I got to have a pen there and I got to have no fuss I got to be able to make my notes quickly so it's a you know a pop cap and it's a 
really fine line which I don't usually like but when I'm making tiny notes in a notebook I do love it so I've been examining why I do things you know why I make videos why I um, you know splat ink I, I love ink and I really love color and I love to uh, write my letters with fancy colors and inks and I even like to take a Tamari River paper and splatter the ink on it and then write the letter but I try to do that with people that I think won't judge because <laughs> it's a little crazy I mean you know when I first received my first true pen pal letter from a fountain pen enthusiast it was written in maybe 10 different colors with all the explanation of what pen and ink and it was like wow this is cool but I've never seen anything like this you know and this other person has a channel I'm not going to you know divulge who it was but I was like wow what a neat idea no wonder people like to do this pen paling thing and this was before I did Inco Rimo or anything like that and I thought yeah that's cool because by then I'd already <laughs> amassed quite a collection which I thought then 12 bottles of ink was crazy and now you know <laughs> oh no the evidence will show <laughs> so um so it's cool it's you know if there has to be a silver lining to being in pain and having this back flare up thing um right now which i think is actually kind of symbolic i spiritually looking at it um i actually made some notes i think i probably won't be able to find them since i put myself under pressure but i actually took some notes on what i kind of was wondering if if it was a signal you know kind of a spiritual signal to myself this back pain because I, I wasn't lifting anything. Whatever it was, was cumulative. And, um, oh no, I remember. <laughs> I made the notes on a weird little piece of uh, watercolor. I put down, back pain equals money problems. Part of the body that protects you if you feel helpless about a situation. Okay. Yeah, there's that. It's, it relates to how you relate to people, the sacral chakra and the world coping with stress and staying on an even keel well you know we're all kind of having to work with staying on an even keel i think if you know not just here in the united states i mean i've seen the world news so you know i i'm a big one to look beyond just the physical because definitely it's all connected mind body and spirit are all connected so i'm no expert but I definitely started to look in the the sacral chakra and then I also started to question well where exactly is it on my back because it's not low 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 it it actually kind of travels up and moves around it's muscular so but it's it's having to do with the core definitely and there are physical reasons I'm certainly a little out of shape and um you know there's all of that so I cannot ignore any of those three things mind body spirit when trying to recover you know back strength and and uh, you know get rid of this back pain and also get the balance that I would like to get um, but I maybe not more so than anybody else but I definitely see in myself some all or nothing like it's easier for me not to spend any money than it is for me to be real moderate and you know kind of work hard on well do I need socks or do I need another uh, you know bottle of ink you know uh, and that's ridiculous but you know I was kind of thinking to myself well gee you know um, I, I don't have a single turtleneck and here I am going after another bottle of ink and I could outfit an army with ink so those kinds of thoughts when you really are limiting how many times you get up or or you're sort of, uh, you're more left with your thoughts than activity. I'm not riding around in the car. Manuel's going out by himself to do stuff. And I'm left with my thoughts. Oh no, you know, <laughs> but it's good. And I think a lot of times I stay busy just to move away from that, you know, and I want to be mindful. I want to be a lot more mindful than I am. I am mindful a lot. But <laughs> then there's those times when it's just easier to go with habit, you know. So I just thought I'd share because I I don't think I'm alone at all. I, I don't believe I'm the only one who um, occasionally realizes, oh, I might be a little out of balance or, gee, you know. Um, and, I, you know, like right now I've got a... A baggie I was planning pretty solidly these are new ink samples 
um, some I've ordered. Some were sent by uh, Vaness Pen Shop. Some were sent by Pen Friend Matt. I mean, I've got, I've got a different variety of people that have sent. And these, the inks in this bag, I thought about doing 30 inks 30 days in November, but I have not decided yet because for one thing, I don't know how the situation will evolve with my mom and how much of uh, my, you know, time and um, coordination will be required. And the other thing is, if it's going to stress me, then I'd rather just do my own thing. Like, you know, a little mini series or like I'm doing right now, I'm actually just... I haven't even finished yesterday's entry, but I have Van Diemen's Hollywood Diamonds, our girl's best BFF. So I've got, you know, it written in here and then my notes, um, because I have it in my serendipity. So this will make for a good opportunity for me to, as soon as I feel like I have enough, I have six entries now. Yeah, six entries. Then I can come in and do an ink um, journal flip through, which I think is fun anyway because of the way I like to compare ink colors um, and that helps you as far as if you say oh well I like that but mm, they don't sell that in my country or um, that's that's an expensive one what else looks like it that's how this all started because for me I found that there were times when I couldn't even find the ink that I fell in love with but I could find something that looked similar or shaded alike or was in the ballpark where I was really excited about it so um, I don't, in other words, I don't plan to stop doing what I do, but I'm going to do it differently. And, and there, you know, I haven't made the decision to completely demonetize the channel. Um, and that's an option, but I think that would be after I knew for sure what I was doing. And after I really did try out a split, you know, way of having some of the videos that I, I feel are, are um, you know, you know should have ads and then the others like this where it's just me talking and some people aren't going to be interested at all others where we're you know we're connected or we're friends or um or you're dealing with a similar balance thing or um caregiving an elderly uh family member from a long distance or dealing with a bad back or love cats or whatever it might be interested in more okay so Willie had made a full recovery before I got hurt. So the universe does work in wonderful ways. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? And see, it could have been cumulative carrying him around in the carrier, which my friend, uh, my pen friend Liz suggested a, like a, the old luggage rack kind of carrier with the little wheels. So we're going to look for one of those that I could strap the um, case to because I had to take him by myself and he weighs, I think, 13.6. He's a big cat, Willie. He's not overweight, but he's a big framed and big cat. And I was hauling him around, picking him up, putting his medicine. You know, I wasn't even noticing that I was doing all that. Yeah, so I overdid it. I probably twisted quite a bit and I cumulatively flared up an issue that's going to always be there probably. So, and I haven't even gotten to the doctor yet. And please don't yell at me. I know, I know I need to go. Um... I, I go to the naval base and I have TRICARE and, you know, I can go. Uh, I just haven't wanted to with COVID yet. I just haven't wanted to, but I will. Um, they've got it all on record and maybe they could compare the x-rays and stuff. But I don't believe, if I thought I'd injured myself, that's different. But I do think it was cumulative and muscular and to do with my degenerative arthritis. So, oh my gosh, I've really gone on a long time. But um, this is just, you know, I feel like, wow, I don't usually let a whole week or two go by without doing a video. The last thing I think I did was the uh, koozie case review because I'm so excited about that. And now I get to watch that until Christmas or my birthday comes. Because Manuel said, whichever you want it for, your birthday or Christmas, probably be my birthday because that comes two weeks before Christmas. So that'd be cool. <laughs> or 12 days. 12 days before Christmas, I guess. Something like that is my birthday. I'm not real good with numbers, with math. Okay, I think this is the video. Um, I know I'm probably forgetting things, but when I go to do the flip through, I'll be able to chat some more um, because I do want to do that soon. And uh, been playing with Van Diemen's inks and uh, Ackerman was one, Sailor was one, Colorverse was one, and a Diamine. So it's all mixed up. It's It was all according to 
you know, laying on the couch or in bed thinking, ooh, that's the next one I want to do. I might, you know, I, I got to do what I want to do because I'm in pain and I deserve it, you know, <laughs> and that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to go now and um, let me know in the comments. It, 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 I don't really think I'm the only one that's going through this, you know, kind of looking at this social media type thing and why we do what we do and if is it intentional enough is it mindful enough and is it who I want to be and I think with just a little dialing and adjusting I could get it where I want it to be I don't think I'm like um well I won't say I'm not ridiculous because you can see how ridiculous I am when it comes to ink but <laughs> uh you know when it comes to sharing and stuff I truly enjoy it and I like and I go around watching videos so I'm a video watcher not just a video maker so um definitely was doing that long before I started a, a YouTube channel and um okay so have a great week and rest of the month october is flying by so it's gonna be november um, we've seen a little bit of cool weather but we're 90 degrees here in texas today so hope you're keeping cool wherever you are and if you have snow or cool weather or fall like temperatures then i'm jealous i'm just gonna tell you i'm very jealous so bye for now and i'll be back with a journal flip through and within probably a few days if everything goes well bye for now